guys. So um, I was really debating whether to do this video tonight or not. I'm like, do I have it in me? And I think I do. I just, I really wanted to do another one. I just did the INTP and I'm ready to do ENTP. Um, so for all of you ENTPs out there, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you have already found something to criticize. So um, if that's you, then I understand. Um, I have a lot of that going on in my own head. Um, I don't really vocalize it so much. Um, but I get it. I get it. I've got a Gemini rising, so uh, we see a lot, a lot of Gemini energy with the NTP because they can kind of, um, they're very fast on their feet. Very fast on their feet. Like, think of Mercury. Um, he has wings on his shoes, so he can fly at any moment's notice. Very, very quick to deliver. Um, so let's see, ENTP. So I should probably look up your functions because that will come in handy. ENTP. So for the INTP, theirs was thinking and then intuition. I think you guys are the same, but it's just a different extroverted yeah so extroverted intuition so um, you guys really put all of your ideas out there for everyone to see and that's why you have so much to say um, so much to say also because you're extroverted feeling so you really really let people know how you think and feel um, well, think in a sense, but um, it's internally thinking, and then you are externalizing um, those ideas. Because, like, intuition is kind of like idea based, and thinking is more just logic and connecting um, or fact finding, maybe. Um, so it's it's just like a back and forth. It's a really fast system. It's like um, a Jacob's ladder kind of thing. Um, so it's it's kind of going through I can I can feel it I it's just like thinking about it um, like visualizing how fast you guys can work um, and that's pretty cool um, so we get a lot out there in a very short amount of time when we talk about ENTPs or what you guys can do um, but I think first and foremost your intuition kind of draws it all so it's intuition is like an instinct kind of um, we all have instincts and stuff, but yours actually serve a purpose in a, a grand scheme of things. That's more so intuition, whereas a sensing instinct is more about competition or um, it's just getting things done. It's being where you need to be kind of a thing or putting yourself where you need to be um, in like a dominant situation or whatever. Intuition is more of an instinct as something subconscious it's something a little more um connection oriented it's big picture stuff so that stuff is really really relevant to you guys um two of pentacles first on the docket reversed um so money matters in love um maybe they don't mix so well for you guys um it's a constant it's a constant subject that's brought up again and again in your relationships is um, we just can't we can't keep the money in check we can't keep it in balance um, you know maybe it, it does bad things it tarnishes your relationship it muddles the waters um, you know like you you just don't have a, a great um, outlook on on money or financial standings and relationships uh, which is understandable money can do strange things to people um, and then when it comes to vacations it's like maybe you always want to go places together um, but the funds are just never there and I would say since it's reversed you're probably not the one that amasses the ma the money um, it, I feel like it would be more so your partner so maybe you have to kind of depend on that a little bit and that kind of makes you uneasy and it's just constant riding the waves riding the the ups and downs this is like looking at a, um, a graph of like your bank account and it's just like very very up and down like a roller coaster um, it's never like a, a 
solid beep like a lifeline, you know, like a constant beating of the heart. So, um, yeah. I mean, Geminis, they move so quick, it's hard for them to be practical. You know what I mean? They're just jumping from one thing to the next. Surely you're going to make some bad decisions along the way, but it's all part of it. Um, let's see here. What else do we have for ENTP? So you guys actually, I, I do enjoy for the most part... Um, now there are some ENTPs that I really get that duality, like sometimes I can handle them and sometimes I can't, um, just because there's like this, this need to, yeah, criticize like everything and sometimes that can wear me down. I'm just like, I try to stay optimistic, um, even though I'm not like ESFJ energy or ENFP energy where it's just like super like uppity. I try to stay optimistic in the things that I say. So if I if I'm if I feel like I'm I've, I've had a few too many criticisms in a length of time or something, I'll kind of like be a little more conscious of, of my word choices, and I'll I'll be like I'll scale it back a little bit and be like, okay, I don't want to bring the vibe down or anything, or I'm just being I don't know why I'm in this mood or whatever, and so I'm a little more conscious of it. For you guys, I don't think there's an end in sight. It's just like. No filter, no holds bar, it's just constant, constant stuff. And your saving grace is that you are very funny. Very, very funny. You guys are the comedians of the Zodiac. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just like SNL and stuff. It's like how they so wittily, witting, witty, witfully, oh, I don't know the word, um, it's how they can satirize so much, and um, it's really like um, harsh stuff, but it's just done so well um, that all you can do is laugh and enjoy it, and it's actually very entertaining. So kudos to you guys for being able to do that. Um, finding the lightness in kind of like the abnormalities or the hypocrisy of everything. So that is quite a power, but um, just be wary of like how much you exhaust it um, because the people around you like aren't always like ready to hear that stuff. Just like for an INFJ, I would advise like people around them aren't always ready to hear advice, you know. Um, you got to pick the right time, you know. It's not, it's not all the time, that's for sure. So... Anyways, uh, ENTP, ENTP, what have we got? Yeah, ENTP. So we already see a two, so there's that duality, there's that Gemini energy, um, or at least Mercury. So if we're not talking about Gemini, we're seeing some Virgo. But Virgos are, um, yes, they're very critical, um, but I wouldn't say they're quite as entertaining in that sense, unless they like it's really their job, you know what I mean? Because a lot of actors are Virgos or Geminis, really. Um, they have Gemini in the tenth house, but um, I would say they're not as naturally funny. What was I saying? <laughs> I don't even fucking know. What the hell? It's sometimes like I feel like when I when I do this and I'm trying to manifest something about whatever the topic is. So for instance, right now I'm trying to manifest like the mind of an ENTP, what that must feel like. I can like kind of tap into that energy a little bit and it's weird. I'll like, I'll just kind of get lost or like I'll pick up some idiosyncrasies for a second. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. Life of an empath, right? All right. Um, well, funnily enough, you guys don't have a shit ton to say. Maybe that was just... <laughs> maybe I got a little too far with that first one, and we're... Okay. We're a little too weary now. Oh, interesting. So, um, reverse Queen of Pentacles. So, if there's a, a work... 
a female work colleague or somebody that is really nurturing for you, that's a great thing to have. Um, now, reverse, though, it could mean that there's um, some tension with female at work. So somebody that's maybe an, a little older um, that is nurturing or is a mother in some kind, maybe she's a leader and you are kind of like um, subordinate or under her or something like that. Um, she doesn't have the best intentions. Um, maybe she doesn't hold herself as accountable um, as she should if she is in a leadership position or one that is um, more demanding of that kind of um, persona. So be careful of that. If you, you guys can probably pick up on that stuff pretty quickly, um, but um, don't let her uh, take from you. Don't let her be possessive or try to manipulate you or, um, or hold you back, restrict you. That's what we see with earth energy. Um, putting a lot of like restriction, like laws, rules, um, you know, holding other people to a high standard, but not themselves. Unfortunately, I'm calling you out earth signs because you do that. You do that. You, um, you're very quick to criticize, but when, the role is reversed and it's on you, um, you aren't accountable for it, um, especially Capricorns. Um, sorry, but it's true. I guess I'm dragging signs in this video, really channeling this ENTP energy, you guys. This is weird. Okay. Um, so, uh, Ten of Cups energy. Um, very good. Very big blessings, though. Home is where the heart is. I think I said that for INTP, so there's some similarity there. Um, ten, you can have it all. All of your dreams can come true, whatever that looks like for you guys. So, um, that's great that there's some, some balance, because in the beginning, it doesn't look like it is. It's interesting. It's, um, money is um, not your forte. Money and work is not your forte, but the home life is, the family is, um, maybe you have really big dreams. Um, you really, really have a vision of what you want for yourself, and it seems like that's pretty healthy. Um, yeah. But maybe you just don't find your surroundings or the job that you're in to be, to line up with that vision. Maybe that's what it is. So, but it doesn't stop you from enjoying things. So that's nice. Cool. You feel blessed. You feel lucky. So a positive outlook, even though we are so damn critical, so damn judgmental. Let's see what else we get, ENTP. Well, um... ENTPs, some big ones that I, well, not in my personal life, because obviously you guys aren't going to know those people. Um, ENTPs in, like, films and things. Let's see. Um, if we are talking about Harry Potter, it's the Weasley twins. are always poking fun, very mischievous. Um, but it's all to entertain you know what I mean it's all a ploy so they don't really mean any harsh things it's just um, to make things lighter so that's kind of a gift that you guys have is to, to entertain for sure um, but you do it in a very um, highbrow way you know what I mean like you're actually making some some valid points as you um, joke around or entertain so it's it's pretty cool how you guys can walk that walk that line um, that tightrope you know um, let's see there is 
Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones is an ENTP. That's why he has so many quotes. I think he's the most quoted of all the uh, the big characters on that show. Um, what is it? I, I drink wine and I, I know things or something like that. Um, you know, he has a lot to say. ENTPs have a lot to say. Um, okay. Wow. Okay. These are the same two exact cards that came up in INTP. So you guys are pretty similar. Um, it's just that first letter and then the order. Okay, so Justice Reverse. So um, we feel that hmm, maybe karmically that things don't go our way, even if we are in the right. Um, but this is, a, again, a state of mind, just like I was talking with the INTPs or in that video that that's a perception that things don't work out the way they should or um, that you don't get the benefit of the doubt or that you kind of get um, the, yeah, just the, it's like if you're going trick-or-treating and, um, you're going with a big group and there are you know five of you and then you're the last one that makes it to the door and then the person in front of you got the last piece of candy in the bowl that's how you feel <laughs> so um you're just like god damn it um you know god damn it diane um <laughs> and so it's like you know, there's a point there. Are, should we be a little more assertive with ourselves? You know, it's okay to be competitive um, in a sense. Um, you know, Geminis, I think they, they have a hard time doing that. Mutable signs definitely have a hard time um, being a little more assertive or dominant. Um, and because I think they're so empathic so caring that they can really feel people's energy and so it makes them super conscious and so they're very aware of their actions and, and how they come across and and all of that so it can really mess with you sometimes i'm um, speaking the gemini and me and everything in my third house um you know i'm very aware of what i do and how i'm presenting myself and how everything looks and if i'm feeling awkward it's 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 definitely like I can feel it like it's it's just it's yeah so okay um, so I'm gonna jump from justice reverse so again you know like the INTPs maybe um, you know any like litigation or anything legal that comes up in your life um, could unfortunately not go your way um, you know if you get in a car accident or something like that maybe you get wrongfully sued and it does go through um, and so, you know, you just feel kind of like, um, uh, it's a little unlucky in a sense or that, yeah, you're just like, well, goddamn, why, why does the universe keep like pushing me back down? And it's because you guys can get back up. That's why. Um. And every time you do, you learn something. So let's let's learn something here. So Two of Cups, um, because there is uh, potential here for lots of love, um, we see three cards. I mean, if we're talking about Justice as Libra, we see four as relationship cards. Um, the Two, um, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles, um, Justice, like wow you guys um for the analyst group i'm super surprised by this but they actually have like a lot going for them in a romantic sense from the cards i've gotten intp is the, the least of the four like i didn't really get that from intp um there was more about home life but it wasn't about love or romance um but intj entj ENTP, you guys are like very formidable suitors. Like, um, I mean, you look very attractive from what I see. Yeah, you do. Um, Page of Swords. So, um, maybe you feel like it is just you and your thoughts at the end of the day, or like 
you know, the journey is a solo journey. Where can that thought take you? Where can that, you know, it's a very youthful figure when we see pages. And, um, but it's like you, you're holding a sword, you know. Words can really cut deep. Um, and so it's up to you to, what I, okay, so what I'm missing here so far is fire. And we need fire. Why? Because fire holds you accountable. Um, it's why leaders are often fire signs. Um, fire keeps you honest and in integrous. It's got all those kind of like superhero qualities. Not that the fire signs are nothing but great, okay, and that we should worship them because I don't, I don't think that. Trust me, we have a lot of pitfalls. Um, but we need that accountability because air is opposite fire, and so air can sometimes think that they're um, holier than thou or whatever because they move through things so quickly. So, um, Page of Swords, you can really have that kind of mindset. Like, I can cut through anything, I can go in any direction I want um, because this weapon that I have. Um, of my mind, you know, it's just so damn powerful. Uh, watch out, world. Um, but with the page, you you really don't know your purpose. You don't know what all this is for. I mean, we already see that the job is a struggle for you guys. We have Pisces in the 10th house if we're talking about Gemini. So yes, big struggle. Scorpio in the 6th house of work, big struggle. Um, Capricorn in the ninth ho 8th house of transformation, big struggle. So, work is not easy. Um, yes, it is natural for you guys to work because you guys are busy bees. You have that mercury energy and Virgo in the fourth of what's natural, what's familiar. So, work is familiar. It feels good to work. Um, it's, it's a natural process for you guys, but um, there's going to be, yes, a lot of forces maybe outside of your control, or maybe you just don't watch your words so carefully. There was a, a situation um, with a friend of mine recently, and someone she knew that didn't watch her words carefully so well, um, you know, kind of ended up in a, a bad situation or um, at work. And so it is really careful because you guys put it out there so often, you know, to be wary of like what you can and can't say you know I mean sometimes you can let something out but not all the time okay um, also if you are always letting things out like that it doesn't have the same impact so just be careful of that if like you're looking for an impact or a reaction or you're trying to get somewhere with that conversation you won't if you're always approaching it that same way and people will, like just they kind of get used to it or whatever. So you'll it'll lose its effect quickly if you don't know when, you know, Kairos, like the timing of it. Um, so Page of Swords, um, you know, you guys are, are lost in the sense that you have the know-how, you have the wit, you have uh, a lot of intellect, um, but it's about like, where where do we put all of that to good use? So that's kind of the journey, and we don't really know what the goal is, what the mission is with it. We don't really know what it looks like, where we're going. Um, we're just kind of um, just kind of backpacking through our mind, in a sense, um, trying to get somewhere. So let's see, NTP, what else? But Two of Cups, uh, big promises, uh, lots of relationships. Um, Sagittarius in the seventh. You guys are very open to relationships um, and travel. So it may be um, foreigners, um, people from distant lands or different countries that you're most interested in or that kind of strike your fancy. Um, you know, traveling could really be where you meet people, um, you know, where you connect with people. where that Libra energy really plays out for you guys when you're on vacation. You really look good on vacation. Because um, you guys are great with beginnings. Gemini, air signs, 
good for beginnings, and you guys are the third sign in the zodiac, so good for beginnings for sure. Um, oh yeah, so here we go. And I, I do see this one with the ENTPs sometimes. So Page of Cups. Um, so deeper meaning. Um, what are we looking for here? You know, again, we get a page. So you guys have a lot of energy, uh, lots of youthfulness, um, you know, like lots of go, go, go. So you guys burn through a lot of that at the end of each day. Um, you... Geminis usually are pretty skinny because they're air signs and air sign has to be able to move fast because they move the fastest so you typically see taller slender people with air energy and especially Gemini um, just because they have like that mercurial movement um, like me I have to eat so often because I feel like I just burn through so much whether it's my mind or me physically moving so much with that Gemini so I just go 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 because my son is a fixed sign my son isn't very fast, um, takes its time, um, but everything else is mutable, so I feel you there. Um, Page of Cups, so we're talking to the fishes, you guys are pretty, um, we could see some spirituality there, um, you know, maybe some interest in, in stuff like that, but I think you guys are a little too um, skeptical to probably tie yourself to a religion, in a sense, um, that's probably a little too expected or too, um, what's the word? A little too, like, narrow. I don't know. Yeah. I think you probably will find, like, your own version of spirituality. It probably wouldn't be, like, a formal, you know, school of thought or something that you're prescribing to, I feel like it would be your own path in that sense. Um, so Page of Cups, um, you know, but you you can see deeper meaning behind things, and that's that intuition. It's a very big intuition card right there, Page of Cups. So we're constantly looking for that. So we're constantly looking for ideas, um, intuition, you know, deeper meanings. So we can feel a little lost sometimes when we don't have those things. Um, and yeah, I mean, again, very, very uh, good looking in a sense with that, that youthfulness, like it's just lots of good energy. Like <laughs> as I see these cards, I'm like, ooh, um, I feel like the majority of you probably look pretty attractive in a sense, or you know, like, I mean, you attract admirers, um, obviously, I mean, because you're entertaining, but even more so because you've, you've got some things going for you. Um, but we can be a little naive. So when it comes to emotion, um, it's maybe it's harder for us to process it. Um, maybe we find a, a, a ready outlet for emotion in relationships. Maybe that's where we can really express it um, or feel it a little more. Um, but you guys are, are almost like a little too too reckless with the emotion. Um, you just don't know how to channel it or handle it. And I guess same with the intellect too. It comes very fast and quick, um, but like we're seeing that the quick stuff that is kind of starting the off like the marathon, you know, like because you guys do represent running um, just like Virgo does. So, you know, when you run a relay, you guys would be the first leg that like starts it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you get going, you get them on a really good pace, and then you hand off the baton to the next person. So we're not gonna see the final results like when we get to Aquarius, the last air sign. Um, you guys are gonna be the, the starter. You know what I mean? Um, so you're gonna kick things off. So you're not really gonna see things through and you're not really gonna have um, the best, most universal idea right off the bat. We'll leave that to the later air signs. You know, they're a little more diplomatic than you guys. Um, but you guys will really have a lot of ideas to begin with and can kind of get things moving. So that's that's cool. It's cool. So the world reverse. So interesting um, major arcana reversed here. So... Um, I already talked about travel a little bit. And 
Um, hmm. Let's see, the world reversed. Is that your view on the world? That things are like constantly upside down? That you just don't understand it? Or you just think it's just so, again, the, the hypocrisy of like everything. You're just like, I mean, nothing fucking makes sense. You know, like on piece and paper, it's, it's or paper, it's so easy, but like reality is a different story. Um, maybe to you guys, and you just don't understand the world or how it operates. Um, I mean, I think we all learn a little bit more about it each time we see a news story, and each time we're a little more disturbed. Um, okay, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe this is talking more so about you guys not knowing where you need to go. Um, with these pages, it can oftentimes like give me the impression that you feel lost. And since work is just not your forte, um, it's really hard to pick a direction in, in a field or a career to tie yourself to something in that way um, because maybe you'll feel like then you're restricting yourself once you pick a direction, which I get. I get that. Um, you're not open to it's almost like a necessary evil. You have to pick a direction, but I tell people, once you pick a direction, that's not the final thing. If you don't like it, you can always change. So you have to remind yourself that. Like, it's just, it's not the final thing if you pick something. You know what I mean? You, we have the power as conscious animals, uh, you know, people with, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but um, there's always a choice, or choices. And... Um, sometimes I guess you guys just don't always feel that way, but you can see both sides of things, which seems really ironic to me. So, um, eight of cups reverse. So when you guys don't feel like you can go places or there are no options, you know, what do we tend to do? It's like the, the fight or flight reflex and you guys like like to run away from your problems. You like to run away from the emotion. Again, we 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 already talked about the emotion and not really understanding it so well with the Page of Cups, um, and that's why it maybe takes a second person, a second party, to help you understand yourself um, to unblur those lines. You know what I mean? Um, to make you feel good, and when it all is so overwhelming or becomes too much you guys just run you just leave it you know what I mean you don't you don't deal with it um, you don't deal with it well so um, I wouldn't necessarily say that's the best approach um, you know problems and, and things are attracted into your life for reasons there's always lessons and the more you tell yourself that the, the easier it does become in a sense, it doesn't solve everything, but to know that there's purpose behind everything that does happen um, could help with some of the skepticism. Um, yeah, and to just kind of be, like I said before, we're missing fire here. We're still missing fire. It's the one, it's the one thing that we're missing. We have all the other elements here, all the other suits. Yeah. So just don't run away from your problems, face them, because then you'll be more, you'll attract better things when you do do that. Um, because if you run away from it, you're just either giving it more power or it's just going to come back to you at a later time, you know, because you didn't deal with it, you didn't close it off. And um, we all need closure from our lives, whether it's good or bad. Um, dealing with stuff doesn't automatically mean that it's going to end well. But um, at least you dealt with it. At least you can say that I owned this, you know, and it still blew up in my face. But I gave it, I gave it time and energy and my, I, I said what I needed to say. I did what I needed to do and it's not going to haunt me anymore. You know what I mean? So don't, yeah. 
And goodbyes can be hard, for sure. It is hard, um, especially when there, yeah, there doesn't seem like, it, okay, it's interesting. It's like you guys could go in any direction, but you don't necessarily feel that way. You feel trapped in a sense, or like the world isn't um, open to you in a deeper sense. And so you feel lost. And, but yeah, a relationship seems like a healthy thing for you guys until we get to money matters. Um, so if you are, if you do find yourself in relationships with people that are um, a little more practical, that may be a good thing, but it could also be, you know, if they're a little bit to the extreme to where they're like, get this, this, and this, and then you know, like setting up a law in the house, then that's not cool. So hopefully you find like a suitor that is um, a little more lax, but is responsible, and, and some of that can kind of, you know, um, meld into your own personality in life. So, but pretty cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you have any comments or questions. And I am officially done with the analysts group. So um, you guys were last on the docket. And next I will be moving into the dreamers, which are my favorite. I, I am a dreamer as an INFJ, but I love the dreamer category. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that one. And i um, excited about the rest, really, even like the SJs, um, you know, because it's just I, I'm learning stuff as I go through this with you guys. And I hope you guys do, too, and enjoy this stuff. Um, and I am working on a background, so please just give it time. Um, I, I've got a good idea of, like, which one I want to have. I'm going to see if it works out the way I intend to, but it's not necessarily, like, tarot-themed, so... Stay tuned for that, okay? Um, and just just keep them giggles. Keep it coming. Um, we could all use a laugh right now when things are so tense and heavy and tumultuous and, ugh, you know, with everything that's going on in the world. So uh, we're very grateful for the NTPs out there that make light of all of this but still give us some some things to think about.